Hello, my name is Samantha, and along with Tanya, I'll be presenting about the unique male pseudohermaphroditism, which is better known as guevedosis. Salinas and the Dominican Republic. The first few date cases were discovered in the early 1970s by Dr. Julianne Emperado, who was a Cornell endocrinologist. Most of the cases were seen in a small village called Salinas in the Dominican Republic. One out of every 90 girls would suddenly begin developing male genitals during their teen years or while going through puberty. What are guevedosis or who are guevedosis? Guevedosis is a name given to children who are born female but begin to develop male genitalia at 12 years old. Locals in the Dominican Republic call the guevedosis machiembras, or first woman, then man. They have the appearance of a girl at birth, but during puberty, they begin to sprout muscles, testes, as well as a penis. 1. At 18 months, the appearance is female, though undescended testes are present in the body. 2. Lacking DHT, or dihydrotestosterone, in utero, this boy's external genitalia develop as female. However, internally, the gonadal tissue is that of a normal male, and his karyotype is 46XY, or normal male. 3. In utero, DHT is essential for the normal male development of their external genitalia. After complete maturation, DHT seems to have no important biological function. 4. Just before puberty, prior to the testosterone outpouring, the phenotype is still considered female. 5. With the testosterone surge at puberty, the phenotype changes to male. The voice deepens, the testes descend, the phallus grows, erection and ejaculation begin, as well as a male psychosexual orientation developing. For the rest of their lives, the guevedosis resemble the other Dominican men in all respects except for the following. One, their beard growth is less than that of a normal male. Two, there is no hairline recession as seen with normal males. Three, it's not common for them to have acne. And four, the prostate will remain relatively small. Why does this happen? This happens because of a 5A reductase deficiency. This is an enzyme needed in converting testosterone into dihydrotestosterone. These missing enzymes start during the embryonic development, which makes this a genetic disorder. Continuation of why this occurs. Usually, this occurs when the male fetus is at the two month mark, eight week period during the embryonic development. This deficiency seems to be a genetic condition quite common in this part of the Dominican Republic, but vanishing else, anywhere else in the world. Although there has been new cases reported in Turkey, Egypt, and Papua New Guinea. Deficiency of the 5A reductase can result in external genitalia that appear to be female in an individual with an XY chirotype. Chirotype, which is an individual's collection of chromosomes. In the scientific laboratory, it refers to a technique that processes an image of the individual's chromosomes, and there is where they determine the abnormal numbers and structures of chromosomes. On this image, you can see a male that is testosterone dependent and a male that is dehydrotestosterone dependent. The testes location is quite different along where there being a blind vaginal pouch. The effect of 46XY. Male pseudohymyphroditism refers to a condition that affects 46XY individuals with differentiated testes who exhibit varying degrees of feminization. In cases of male pseudohermaphrodites, there is a spectrum of external genitalia. Some individuals are completely phenotypically female, 
while others appear to be normal males with varying spermogenesis or puber pubertal fertilization. Continuation of the 46XY. High testosterone production at puberty can drive a parent's sex change during puberty. Normally, the cases reported say that the change occurs at around age 12. There can be multiple causes of genitalia fertilization. Androgen testosterone producing cells, Leydig cells, are not properly being produced. This syndrome of androgen insensitivity is inherited as either X-linked recessive trait or sex-limited autosomal dominant trait. We usually have 22, 44 total chromosomes. Circulating testosterone levels are equivalent to or higher than those found in normal men. LH levels are elevated and FSH levels are normal compared with those menstruating women. Lydic cells are adjacent to the semi seminiferous te testicle, where the production of testosterone in the presence of luteinizing hormones, LH. In this image A, you can see a complete androgen insensitivity syndrome. Then image B will demonstrate partial androgen insensitivity syndrome. You can see the differences. Here, image C will demonstrate before puberty guavidosis, after puberty, although there is male facial body hair, there is very little to no pubic hair in the axillary. And then image D demonstrates congenital adrenal hyperplasia, which is untreated. I want us to take a moment to understand the drastic changes that the guavidosis goes through. Imagine at the age of 12 when you're focused on school, boys, and you suddenly have a body change that changes who you are and how you're seen. You go from being a female girl to a male boy. Also, imagine always knowing this deep down that you never really liked to play Barbies. Instead, you wanted to wrestle with boys, but you were unable to as it's not seen normal in society. Samantha and I want to thank you for taking the time to learn more about the guavidosis.